mix with it on a drape. This helps give us a bigger sterile field to work with. Keep everything clean. About five centimeters past and down into the skin. Helps to ensure that it's not going to fall out and inject the local anesthetic at the proper spot. So all that remains inside the patient is this very flimsy, very pliable white catheter. So the needles are all out, the metal is all out, the only thing that remains is the soft white catheter. So it's no pain once the catheter is in place. So this is the OnCube pump and it's filled with 750 milliliters of 0.25% upivacaine and it comes in the ball and we remove the catheter and attach it where anesthesia had originally put it. We make sure the clips are off and then we set the pain pump and we can control the flow rate and for her we'll allow it to flow at 4 ml per hour. Thing conveniently fits into this little bag where there are instructions. The sensation is gone, but the motor function will remain. So even if they can't feel it, they could still move their foot if they needed to. Uh, but more majority of the time, they just have it in a cast or a splint, so they just keep the foot still and it's numb for about three to five days, depending on the size pump that we put on. It reduces the necessity for narcotics, which reduces complication rates such as dizziness sleepiness or somnolence and uh, constipation. They have several people I've, I've had where they come in for multiple procedures, one foot and then the next foot. The first foot they don't have it, they want it the second time. Mm -hmm. And every patient that's had it the first time definitely wants it again the second time. The majority of patients say they'd rather have a numb foot versus a painful foot. 